Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praise is honor and glory be unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakah Kadash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us his truth and the rule well. A peace, love, safe, taste, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. And I'm Naak Shakam. And I'm Ayna. And we're back again with another one through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we just um just finished, you know, doing some work on my car. You know, I was um, hit by someone I was drunk driving the other night. You know, by the grace of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, you know, I wasn't harmed, you know, in the car, you know, just suffered minor damages. Okay. You know, we just had to um, change a, a rack on it, you know, um, a rack opinion. tire rod and the, and the lower control arm. Okay. You know, and hey, we didn't pretty much know how to do this work, but hey, Yahweh by Shemi Shai, Hey, the brothers had some experience, and uh, I was able to look at um, at YouTube to figure out how to do, you know, some of the work, okay. you know, and that it shows the importance of the internet, you know, which the internet was given to the man of the Lord to do the same thing, but with the word of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, you know, the most family father headed to where, you know, men were set up, you know, to preach the word on the on the tube. And that's the reason why the scriptures say that I shall see thy teachers. Can you grab that scripture in the book of Isaiah? Kind, I get it. You know, because the time is coming that the doorways of this truth is gonna gonna close up. You know, I recall a video that was done by Apostle Dubar, and the the title, well, not the title of the video. It could have been the title of the video as well, but um, it mentioned how these how the uh, the doorway to the spiritual ark was closing. You know, so the doorways to this truth is eventually going to close. Okay. You know, and you want to make sure that you make it on that spiritual arc before it's too late. You know, go ahead if you got that scripture. Okay. 30 and 20. Yep. Uh, uh, Isaiah 30 and 20. Though Yahweh give me the give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into the corners anymore. Mm-hmm. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers. And our eyes have seen our teachers. Okay. And where do we see them at? You know, although, you know, some of us been blessed with the opportunity to physically, you know, go out and to see them, you know, preach on the streets. But before that, hey, we saw them, you know, preaching on YouTube. That's which they right. took the videos that they were preaching, you know, on the streets and uploaded to the unicorn. Okay. And by way of the unicorn, we was able to see our teachers and able to get as much of this knowledge that we possibly can. Okay. So the internet was provided for you uh, by Yahweh by Shemia Washai for this word to reach throughout the four corners of the world. Can you grab Matthew's the 24th chapter real fast? Okay. All right, because the scriptures also say that when this gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the world, then the end shall come. There ain't no place on the planet earth where this word haven't went, man. You can't name one place on the planet Earth where they haven't heard this faith, haven't heard this truth. So it's not a, a, a coincidence why these signs and, 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 and wonders are happening around the world via Yahweh by Shemi man. Matthew 24 and uh, 13, 14. Okay, uh, I got it. Uh, uh, Matthew 24 and 14, and this gospel, of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all, all nations, and then shall the end come. So it shall be a witness to all nations, and then shall the end come. God. So how was this truth pushed throughout the world? All right, they didn't have to get on, on planes. You know, God. they didn't have to get on uh, uh, boats or ships or, or things of that <laughs> nature. You know, what did they do? God. You know, what they did was they got on the tube. God. And they pushed his word out via the tube. And that's how we got this truth, man. That's right. You know? And if you were able to understand, if you were able to hear, all right, because many doesn't have the, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. So if you were able to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you ought to count that as a blessing. God. And don't take it for granted. Because there's a lot of individuals that took it for granted. And what did they do? They left this faith. They God. turned their backs away from the plow. And the scriptures say, if for any that turn their hands away from the plow, all right, are, are not are not uh, fit for the kingdom of heaven, man. God. You know? And you got to keep on going in this thing. 
And if you're not set up to be a teacher, you still got to take this truth serious in the regard of coming out to hearing this word. All right, preach. But now you can't even come out to certain camps because Esau has certain decrees where we are set in place where we can't go on to teach the word. Okay. You know, another scripture, Baba Kasha, Romans, the 10th chapter. Romans 10? Yep. And if you can start at about, um, start at about 10. Okay, Romans 10 and 10. Actually, start at about 12. Uh, Romans 10 and 12. For there is no difference between Jew and Greek. For the same, Yahweh is over all, is rich unto all that is called upon him. That call upon him. And you know okay. what? There's a scripture in Psalms, the 18th chapter, that lets you know that those Greeks and Edomites, that there okay. ain't so called white men. Because right. when, when Yahweh shot comes back, hey, he's going to kick their ass, man. That's and right. the scriptures say in, um, I believe that's uh, Psalms, the 18th chapter, maybe about 49. It says, and then they called upon the Lord, <laughs> and he would not hear them. You know, so that was speaking about actually David, you know, during that time. But Yahweh Shai is of the house of David, man. Okay. So when he comes back, hey, he's going to hand it to Esau Edom. He's going right. to be the one that take Esau Edom down out of power, man. Okay. Uh, you know? Uh, uh, I was it Isaiah sixty third chapter? The first people he's visited. God, God. who is this that coming from Eden with dyed garments God. from Basra? All right, him that is glorious in his apparel. Revelation the nineteenth chapter says the same thing, which we're gonna do something on Revelation nineteen uh, uh, shortly. God. You know, once we get back and we link up with the brothers, but and Yahweh Shah is coming and he's on his way. You know, he's coming and he's coming fast and he's on his way, man. God. All right, and when he comes back, he want to find you, all right, clothed with the right apparel on. He wants to find you clothed with this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Well, there were men that were set up to go out to bid you into the wedding. And they, they told you you were going to a wedding. Now, if you show up to this wedding without these without these wedding garments on, what do you think your house is going to do to you? What do you think he's going to do to you? Uh, that's Matthew's 20, I believe that's 22, that talk about the wedding garments. Okay, Matthew 22. Yeah, let me, let me see real fast. Let me see something real fast, Baba Kasha. Yep, that's it, 22. But uh, there was more in uh, Romans as well. Okay. But we can always go back to it. Okay. You know, because the sound of our of our voice, which which is us speaking, is true. We're speaking the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They, it went throughout the four corners of the world. God. It, it has gone throughout the four corners of the world, man. All right, and there is no people or no, no, no uh, language where our voice was not heard, beginning with our apostles and elders. So ain't nobody right now that can that can stand on an excuse, all right, and saying that they didn't know. God. All right, the Most High Heavenly Father has taken away the mirth of the land. He has taken away all of the distractions. And what can you say, man? Okay. Really, what can you say? You can't say, oh, I didn't know. That's right. You ain't got no excuse now. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, 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 this is Matthew 22 and uh, 2. And the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son. And he sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And they would not come. Again, he sent forth his servants saying, tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready, come unto the marriage. But they made light of it. Yeah, they made, they made light of it. Every last one of them didn't take them serious. They started making excuses. You know, go ahead. God. And, and went their ways. And one to his farm, and another to his merchandise, and the remnant took his servants, and treated them spitefully and slew them. Yeah, those are the prophets. Go ahead. But when the king heard thereof, there was a wrath, and he sent forth his army to destroy those that murdered and burnt up their city. And when he said unto he, to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden are not worthy. Go therefore into the highways, as many as ye shall find and bid them to the marriage. And isn't that what we do? Okay. We go into the highways and the hedges. We go out into the, the busiest places of the market and we cry out. 
God. The wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the chief place of concourse. God. That's where we utter the words of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai to 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 uh, bid you to the marriage. Okay. But a lot of guys they wake up to to the faith and they don't want to follow. Although they woke up to the apostles and elders, they they decide they want to branch off and start teaching their own thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and try to remix the doctrines and come up with this or come up with that. All right, you're not clothed with the wedding garments if you do that, man. You clothed with the strange apparel. Go ahead. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all and many they found, both good and bad. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Mm -hmm. And when the king came to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment, a hat on a wedding garment. And when he said unto him, friend, how thou camest in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. God, and, and this, this truth keeps you from being naked. You know? It keeps you from being naked. When, you, when you're naked, that means that you're full of sin, man. So the Lord doesn't want to find you naked or he doesn't want to find you clothed with strange apparel. He wants to find you clothed with his faith when he returns. Okay. Go ahead. And when he said, the king's servants bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him in utter darkly, darkness, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. God, so there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. God. All right. So, so we, beginning with our apostles and elders, they went out to the highways and hedges and they began to bid you to the marriage. God. Then more woke up, then more began to go out to the highways and the hedges. All right, but a lot of Jake, you know, at this point, they're, they're fucking in a stupefied state, man. God. You know, here it is, the Most High Heavenly Father is making it easier for you to 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 uh, focus on this truth now by way of taking away all the mirth and Jake is looking and finding ways to come up with different folly, man. Yeah. Here it is. Apostle Tahar did a video earlier. Uh, Joiner something, whatever this this rapper is, he, he made a, a a song idolizing Will Smith, and that fucking song got five. It's probably at six million views right now. But yet, look at how many people take this truth serious. And right. then for the ones that do come and watch the videos, they're just watching it for entertainment. Okay. You better get get as much of this truth as you can, man, because you're going to need it. The scriptures say wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time, man. Okay. You want to come with that scripture you had? Okay, Kai. Okay. This is um, uh, 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 Luke 12, 12, Luke 12 42. and 42. And... and 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 the Lord and Yah and Yahweh Bashimi Ashai said, Who then that faithful and wise steward to whom his Lord shall make him ruler over his household and give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find him find so doing so. Of truth I say to you Find him doing the work, find him feeding the, the sheep, you know? Okay. Scripture, scripture say, take heed how you feed the flock of the Lord whom he purchased with his blood, man. And Yahweh Shai said in the book of John, he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. God. You know, so you ain't supposed to be abusing the servants. You're supposed to be taking care of them. But a lot of guys have abandoned their post, man. A lot of guys turned their back away from pushing his faith. Go ahead. Of truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he have. But... If that servant say in his heart, my Lord, delay his coming and shall begin to beat his men servant and maiden to eat and drink and to be drunken. The Lord of that servant come in a day when he look not for him and an hour when he is not aware and will cut him asunder and point his him his, his portion. portion with the unbelievers. There you go. So he's going to destroy him. Okay. You know, now go back to uh, uh, Romans. Okay. So don't abandon your post, man. God. Don't abandon the work that you're supposed to be doing in regards to feeding the sheep. If the Lord sets you up to be a steward, then, then magnify your office, man. You know, do everything that you can to to uh, push this work. You know, don't turn your back on the on the plow. Okay. Quench not the spirit. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, for uh, uh, this is Romans ten and thirteen. For whosoever shall Call upon the name of Yahweh Shimei Shai shall be saved. That's right. How then shall they call on him 
in whom they have not believed? Or how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? Or how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they hear without a preacher? So we couldn't have understood this unless it was broken down to us. Okay. Unless we were taught by the prophets of Yahweh Bashim which okay. we were. And the Most High Heavenly Father allowed us to comprehend and understand. And when the Spirit hopped on us to go out, it we, we followed the example of the apostles and elders. Okay. So we did the same. And then guess what? Others heard and they did this. They doing the same now. Okay. You know, so it's each one teach one. All right. And that's the reason that the Internet was set up, man. All right. Can you go over to. Uh, go over to uh, Proverbs one and uh, begin at 18. Uh huh. Okay. Proverbs one and eighteen. Uh, sorry. Sorry. At twenty. Okay. Okay. Uh, one and twenty. I was thinking. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh uh. Proverbs one and twenty. Wisdom cried out. She she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of the concourse, in the openings of the gates, in in, in the cities, and the shutter. She uttered. She, she uttered her voice saying. So how, how can how can wisdom cry out and utter her voice in the streets if the if the streets getting locked down in the martial law. But that's the place to teach the word, man. Right now, the, hey, the Lord has it to where we're still able to get some information out via YouTube, but they're pushing out new regulations on how they're going to govern the internet, hmm. which is going to eventually stop us from being able to be on the, the web completely, man. God. Famine of the word. So the famine of the word. That's the point. The famine of the, of the word, man. Go ahead. God. How long will you simple ones will love simplicity and scorners delight in a scorning and fools hate knowledge? Kind. So just just how we were able to get the wisdom via YouTube to to uh, fix the, the, the tie rod, to fix the wreck opinion, to fix the Lord control arm. The Most High Heavenly Father provided us with the tools God. and the wisdom and the knowledge to be able to get salvation, man. God. To be able to work out our salvation, man. Okay. To be able to, to to labor, to help, to build the tabernacle of David. Okay. Because that's the whole reason that this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going out. But a lot of you are neglect, neglecting all right, the, the, the wisdom that you can find via YouTube, man. A lot of you don't like the fact that, you know, you can you can get information off of the, the, the web, you know. If you can get it off the internet, then that mean it ain't the truth. God, you're supposed to be able to discern. You're supposed to be able to uh, 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 chew the, uh, 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 chew the uh, meat and spit the bones which, out. Which the internet ain't nothing but the, the, the cell phone and the computer ain't nothing but the urine and the thumb. Them. That's how we got information from Yahweh by Shemiah was shining in the ancient times. He just gave the gave that urine and the thumb them to Esau, you know, who put it in our hands. And by these, these, this urine and the thumb, them, we're able to get this word throughout the four corners of the world, man. Okay. So you can get the tools that you need for the job. And, and uh, we also filter everything through the scriptures there that we go. see on the internet. Yep. Okay. You got more? Uh, uh, okay. You turn up my reproof and behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and I'll make my words known unto you because I have called and ye have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. So how is the Lord calling? There's not. This is not like Horton hears of who. All right, and the loud voice just comes out of heaven. My son, listen, this is your instructions. You know, you got a giant elephant in the sky speaking to a, a clover, God. you know, speaking to a, a flower, you know, and, and you got a big horn to, to communicate with that. No, this ain't, ain't how it's happening. And Yahweh Bashim Shai is using his prophets, man. God. All right, he's, he's coming through his prophets, man. And he's speaking through his prophets. What are you speaking to him? And, and they would uh, um, teach, and then others would believe, believe upon the name of Yahweh Shai, and then they would go out and teach, you know? And that's how it happens. Each one teach one real fast, Baba Kashai. Let me grab a, um, okay. a scripture. Let's see. The, the scripture that I'm looking for is in John. Let's see. John 17, and I believe it's around 19 or 20. Yeah, it says in John 17 and 20, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Okay. <laughs> so we heard the word of the apostles, man. Okay. And then we went out and teach, and then others heard us teaching, 
and they were inspired. Then they believe. Yeah. So that's how it works. But there's going to be many that hear this truth and won't believe, man, because they're stubborn, man. You know, and stiff neck. It says that all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee. And they also may be one in us that the word world may believe that thou hast sent me. Okay. You know, so we're preaching the word of Yahweh Bashmi Awashai out there on the highways and hedges. Okay. All right, being in one mind with the apostles. Okay. All right, being in one mind with Yahweh Shai, who is in who is in one mind with Yahweh, man. That's right. You know, a the scripture says, "Can uh, can two walk together except they be agreed?" So here okay. it is. At this moment, you got a bunch of Israelites that are spooked. So then now they're saying, "Oh, we we should all just come together." We still can't fucking come together okay. because you don't want to teach what we teach. That's you don't right. want to teach that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. You don't want to teach that that um, you know that um, that that uh, uh, Israelites will come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Okay. So that's the reason why we can't come together. You know. But the scriptures reading on the Proverbs one and twenty three, it says, "Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I I will pour my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you." Yeah. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Okay. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity okay. and I will mock when your fear come. Okay. And a lot of these ant camps, uh, well, I call them ant camps because they only come out when, when the weather get good. You know, you know when, when it's cold, they don't come out. You know, but you know, a lot of these camps, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't teach what we teach. If, if this, this thing, uh, uh, this truth right here that we speak, if, if it was for you, it will resonate with you. God. And it, 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 it will make you come out to the highways and hedges when we was out there. And we, we know one thing though, you know, if you're put, if you've been putting this thing off, you know, and you've been neglecting to come out and, and, and neglecting to, you know, take the initiative, God. you know. Then, then, uh, hey, I don't know, man. You know, oh, turn <laughs> back from know. the plow. Yeah, hey, boy, hey. you turn back from the plow. Hey, if you turn your ass back from the plow, now, hey, the Lord can can grant you repentance. The scriptures say that He would be merciful uh, upon whom He is merciful. Hey, but you wouldn't know if you just sitting there twiddling your fingers. Yeah, you know. But a lot of these guys have abandoned it, their post, man. Yeah, and a lot of guys haven't came out to uh to hear this word. Yeah, you know, you know. Hey, hey, all you gotta do is just do the work. Uh, 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 hey, do your videos. Hey, uh, hey, study, and then go on the highways and hedges and preach when you can't. But right now, we at a state right now where, where, where we we in Detroit, and, and right now we get we under a, 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 a executive order from this the governor. Well, we can't well, congregate we can't. out in the in the public. Can or you know, we can still go out, but we can't be out in public in large numbers. Can. So, so you know, a, a, it is what it is, and, and, and hey, hey, you know, a, you how about Shimmy outside gave us this truth, but a, hey, man, when when it was time for you to come out, you should you could have came you out. You should have got the truth while it was huh? while it, while it was here. But we, now, you know, hey, hey, famine of the world is word is about to be here. Okay. And, and I think a lot of these other prophecies are gonna come even quicker, and 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 Yahweh Ratzah they do, you know, so we can get the fuck up out of here. Okay, come, go ahead. Okay, well, with that, you know, uh, uh, that's it. You know, all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem and Kadash, double honors and uh, 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 blessings to the Apostle Elders, uh, a great millstone. And, and the hopeful elect, and, and, and a, and the one third that's out there, a, 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 shalom to you, brothers. Shalom, shalom. Kind, and, and, and that's it.